Good evening guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys is doing absolutely great. Today, I'm going to teach you 7 brainstorming tips to keep your content fresh. If you are drawing a blank or lacking serious imagination, don't panic. Inspiration is always around the corner. Take stock of your situation. Sit down and put pen to blank paper. Using this and brainstorming techniques and tips could be of help. So, I'm going to show you 7 brainstorming tips to keep your content fresh. This is basically practical that can change your imagination. These are the 7 tips to keep your content fresh. Number 1 is mind map. Number 2, study the competition. Number 3, find fresh eyes. Number 4, consider your handies. Number five, visualize the bigger picture. Number six, idea per day. Then number seven, refresh your reuse, recycle. We shall be looking at all these seven tips one after the other and how we can practicalize them. I'm going to teach you step by step. Kindly sit down, relax, take a coffee and wash the hand. As I'm going to show you how you can keep brainstorming and how you can make it fresh as a graphic designer or content creator we all need this handy brainstorming techniques and tips let's look at this number one look at the practical aspects mind the map you need to draw it out instead of metalizing or just visualizing ideas why not map them out in a visual chart definitely one of the best brainstorming tools is this. By seeing a sea of ideas, you will be able to pick out the best ones. Keep hold of all of your ideas that arrive. Though something that might not work right now could be perfect a year or two down the line when you need a dose of fresh insight. Number two, study the competition. You need to study your competitor. What are your peers doing? Keep an eye on your fellow YouTubers or your content creators and other content creators or production companies that you admire. How are they ensuring success? How are they growing their view and audience steadily? What content style or teams are they using? This is not to say replicate directly what they do or even still their ideas but actually it might inspire something inside you that they did not do or an angle that they miss that you feel is unique it could be a great base to jump from number three find fresh eyes what does this mean in a practical situation it's always good to get feedback on the content you have produced to that as a content creator or as a CEO of a company, you need a feedback which is necessary. Ask family, client friends or even acquaintances to look at what you have produced and offer constructive feedback on what you are doing right and wrong. Piece of fresh eye will spot areas for improvement or suggest, or suggest opportunities that you might not even have considered. At times, as you are so tied into the work you are producing, you may have your blinkers on and might not be looking at the fuller picture. Doing this will help you to fresh your ideas and take you to a greater height. On your objectives. Let's check this number four. Consider your audience. Yes, instead of scratching your head for ideas, for content you want to produce, take a few moments to jot down some ideas for what your audience might want. After all, your audience is a huge part of why you keep creating content. So try to switch focus on to the audience to get this creative juice flowing better yet why not ask your audience directly 
run a Twitter poll, send a newsletter with a link to a survey. Open your Twitter DMs, ask for comments on YouTube or Facebook. These tips could be of help to refresh and freshen your idea while you are brainstorming. Let's check this number five. Visualize the bigger picture. Instead of you going from video to video, day to day, trying to think of new ideas. You can sit down and map out a long-term plan. The question is, what are the long-term plans you are has as a brand? The company or the creator you want to achieve? Five years down the line, what are the big projects you want under your belt? Clients you want to work with or the type of people you want to attract your audience? If you have your focus on a long-term goals, it's easier to map out the stepping stones that you need to gather. This will actually help you to achieve and making you to go higher in your objectives. Okay, let's check this number six. As a challenge and a healthy exercise for your mind, spend five minutes a day coming up with five new ideas for projects videos or content you could potentially produce. You need to flex your brain muscles and channel inspiration every single day to make yourself more of a regular ideas person. Don't you know the more you sit down and force yourself to come up with ideas regularly, the more automatically the activity will be. You will soon find ideas fall in front of you the more you challenge yourself and succeed. This will help you to fresh your brainstorming and make things easy for you while you are growing in your, while you are growing in your ideas and objective. The last but not the least, refresh, reuse, and recycle. Instead of you coming up with something new every day, you can still upcycle and hold idea. Update something you have done previously. Produce a new slant to outdated content. You can use your experience in the present day to address something you produced when you started out. Just because something lives already doesn't mean that where the story, that is where the story ends. At times, you need to modify. You need to update what has been done before in order to add a new idea or produce something meaningful. Following all these steps, one after the other, could be a help as a content creator or as a YouTuber. These are the tips and tricks that you can use to make your content fresh. If this helps, don't forget to drop your comments at the comment section.